Hi guys, if you built a Flutter app and you are ready to release it on Apple Store, then you are in the right place. Guys, before upload any app in release mode, testing is important. So in this video, I will walk you through using test flight for Flutter apps. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can upload your Flutter iOS app on test flight. Guys, this is this is my Flutter app and I'm gonna upload it on test flight. Uh, I just create this app for the demo purpose. It has some UI screens and nothing. Now let me open my project in the Xcode. So wait. My project is now opened uh, in Xcode. Uh, first, let me remove the error or warning by just update the runner. Uh, so I'm gonna update it. Project is now updated and as you can see iOS deployment version automatically changed to 12 before it was 11. Now let's move to the next step. Create a new app bundle. So go to your Apple account and here create a new app. So click on new app and here uh, select iOS and enter the app name. Uh, I'm gonna enter matrimony. Here select your app language. I'm gonna select English US. And here select your bundle ID but guys uh, we have we didn't create any bundle ID so let's create a new bundle ID so to create bundle ID click on certificate identifier and profile tab uh, guys here we need to create a new identifier for our app so let me choose my Apple account now guys here click on certificate identifiers and profile so wait now we need to create a identifier uh, so guys these are the identifiers uh, so click here and here select apple id and click on continue here select app and click on continue and now guys here you need to enter your bundle id and des description now let me uh, copy the bundle ID guys you can copy it from here guys if your app deal with notifications or your app has feature of Apple sign in then you need to select uh, this option push notification and sign in with Apple uh, if you didn't select this then your app will not work now click on continue and click on register now identifier is not registered as you can see here now let's create a uh, app again so I'm gonna enter information so guys in bundle ID choose your bundle ID which we created earlier and in user access choose full access and in S guys SQ number is unique ID for your app in the Apple system uh, it's uh, this is not visible by the users now click on create guide is uh, it shows error so I'm gonna change my app to matrimony app and click on create uh, now wait app is now created as you can see and it shows prepare for submission uh, now go to test flight it says no build yet so it's time to create build so guys uh, open your app in xcode and here go to runner and go to sign in and capabilities and guys this will allow you to select a team here uh, select your developer team in the drop down option guys it requires sign in with my apple account so i'm gonna sign in my apple account My app is now signed complete so guys now uh, it's done uh, guys if your app has notification feature then guys you need to select push notification here and you also need to select sign in with apple if you're uh, if you have a feature with sign in with apple uh, now everything is done it's time to create a new build so i'm gonna create new build so go to product and here first let me clean the build folder uh, folder is clean 
now i'm gonna run app again so guys it may take time so i'm gonna fast forward the video So guys as you can see build is completed without any error. Now guys to in, uh, enable archive uh, first you need to connect your iPhone with your uh, um, system. So I am gonna connect my device with my system. So guys my iPhone 6 is now connected with my Mac. Now I am gonna select iPhone here and I am gonna run my project on the iPhone. So guys let me fast forward the video again. Guys, uh, first time it uh, asks for your Mac passwords. Enter your Mac password and click on or always allow. Build is now complete and my app is now running uh, in my iPhone 6. Now, guys, go to product and here click on archive. And archive is. Uh, running uh, guys uh, archive may take five to six minutes so i'm gonna fast forward it so guys build is now complete and archive is created it's time to distribute the app to the app store in test flight now select the distribution app and leave upload selected and click next and guys the up export option is for saving the signed archive and upload it later using a different tool and uh, now wait and click on next and click on next and guys uh, xcode will prepare submit app and this will include checking their app store credential uh, so wait now guys uh, xcode showing the option uh, like uh, uh, your app name and team name so uh, click on upload guys uploading may take uh, time it depends on your internet speed so i'm gonna fast forward it So guys uh, app is now uploaded successfully without any hassle uh, so view to view the app in the app store click here and guys it will open a new tab in your chrome or in a bro safari browser and guys here go to my apps uh, select your app i'm gonna select my app and here go to test flight So guys here as you can see no build is replaced with prepare for submission it means app is now uploaded guys it's time to create internal testers so i'm gonna create a new group for internal testers so i'm gonna make a name and create it and guys uh, you need to select your internal tester i'm gonna select myself uh, so i'm gonna select it from here and click on add guys you can add multiple internet tester and you can also add uh, from your account and guys as you can see no build it is available yet guys after five minutes build will be appear here so wait a few moments later now guys my app is added here if i am refreshing my page then as you can see uh, app is now added now guys click on manage and here select no and click on start internet testing now guys uh, app is now ready now guys app, app invitation is sent to all the testers so as you can see invited here it's mean uh, i received a uh, email uh, about testing the app let me show you in the my iphone first of all i am gonna uninstall it and i'm gonna open, G open gmail 
and guys yes as you can see i received a test flight mail and here as you can see my matrimonial app uh, so guys uh, let me open in test flight guys if your if your iphone does not have test flight app then it will automatically redirect you to the app store uh, otherwise it will open your app in the test flight as you can see my app is here i'm gonna install it uh, so wait until it is it will install app is now app is now installed and guys we can create this app like all the other normal apps uh, so guys by this way you can install your flutter app to the app store uh, i hope you like this test flight tutorial video if you have any question then write them in the comment box i will try to answer them all uh, so guys that's it with this video and guys one more thing if a new build is available or when you add a new tester all the tester will receive a new build invitation uh, from uh, gmail so guys that's it if you like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching tech jarvis